And here comes the controversial side. Between concrete walls, there's a place for us. I wanna go, do you wanna follow? Hola gente, what's up guys? In today's video, we're going to test out something different. I really hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. This is the Schwarzkopf Osis Plus Sparkler that promises to boost your hair's radiance. The reason I purchased this and that I wanted to test it out for the very first time in front of you guys is that even though I clearly do take very good care of my hair, as you guys see on all the different hair care videos here on my channel, I do sometimes feel that I'm missing something, you know, that Hollywood shine. That is not the type of shine that you get from a hair mask. It's something extra. So that really brought me to um, purchase this one. And if you guys are interested, I'm going to start testing out some shine boosters, shine hacks, kind of shortcuts, because it's a professional product that is made in Germany. And you can apply this on wet hair if you're hair is very coarse it promises to kind of help you condition your hair but its main purpose is to be sprayed on top of already styled hair to coat it and just give you that extra wow factor today 11 years ago i got married to my lovely husband i'm going to take you guys with me we're going to do a couple of check-ins and see if we get um, a long-lasting effect before we begin, a quick shout out for the first commenter of my last video. I'm going to put it right here. Thank you so much. This video is absolutely not sponsored. I don't think Schwarzkopf even knows who I am. <laughs> um, so if you guys want to help me out, subscribe, comment, like, share. And you can also support by using my affiliate links in the description box below on any of my videos. So I'm going to apply first on my left side and then then we're going to compare. It says here you can spray liberally through your hair from a 30 centimeter or 12 inch distance. So let's compare. This is the side with the sparkler. Ooh, yep, yep. All right, so this is the before. Oh wow, look at that. It's just crazy. You know, I always think of my videos as a resource to help you guys make the right purchase decision for you regardless of my personal thoughts. So let me know in the comments below right now what you guys think. So personally, I do see that it does look a lot shinier and also does it look like less frizzy on this side? That is kind of something unexpected. I was not looking for that, but I feel like it has kind of tamed down and made my uh, hair a lot like sleeker. Also, I feel on this side that it has uh, provided some kind of control as like a level one light control for your hair, which I think is actually a good thing. I don't like my hair to look stiff, if that makes sense. Do you see how I can still like run fingers through my hair? Although I'm not sure if I like the effect that it had on the first third kind of near my roots. All right, so now we have even things out. Let's see what the website says. It is the ultimate finishing touch. Without it, your style just isn't complete. I like that. Oh, mmm. And here comes a little bit of um, the controversial side. The ingredients, it says here that it has light silicone oils and dimethicone, which I'm surprised to see dimethicone here, mostly because I'm an ignorant when it comes to ingredients in hair care and I'm trying to go a lot deeper and educate myself more on that. But I do know that the primer, like the Smashbox and other very well-known uh, makeup primers out there have dimethicone. In fact, they are like pure dimethicone. So yeah, and I know this is going to be kind of controversial because there's tons of people who do not like silicone in any hair products. And I absolutely understand that if you are against silicones in every single one of your hair products, then you're not going to like this one. I'm not an expert, so that's why I'm going to link uh, those resources down below in the description box. And one of those said that if you have very frizzy hair like I do that has high porosity, actually silicones do come handy because they kind of coat the hair and 
they kind of fill in those um, little gaps. They're not a long-term thing. But if you are looking uh, to kind of use it for special events and occasions or for a photo shoot, some situation where you want your hair to look especially shiny, like a wedding or something like that, then this may actually be a good choice. I can tell you guys that I do love the product and what it is doing for shine on my hair and that I will continue using it. But that said, I'm convinced I can get even like a stronger shine out of some other product, maybe even from the same brand. So I'm definitely willing to test out more products like this. I'm gonna go now, like I said, I'm going to celebrate my anniversary with my husband and I'm going to be checking in with you guys and let you guys know if this is a long lasting effect or not. Did a lot of bad things and never did I give and just cause the thought of being vulnerable made me feel less than I am I have never felt home till you entered my door and from that moment So it's almost midnight now. Obviously we had the most amazing time. I am so grateful for my husband and everything he had planned out for tonight. So after six hours, the shine is still there. I'm gonna go now before Mumi eats all my roses. <laughs> I am pre-recording this end for today's video because I know for a fact I'm going to be super tired by the end of today's celebration. So I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting my video and for hanging out with me here today. And I will talk to you all again on my next one.